Good morning, this is Dave Fry, ETF Digest with an ETF in focus. We're looking at the Van Eck China ETF, which is linked to the CSI, the Shanghai CSI 300 index, which is basically very much akin to what would be with the S&P 500 in the U.S. Now, last night, we're looking at a weekly chart here to begin with, and you can see we have various annotations, including a money flow, a 5 and 10 period moving average. We don't have enough data for our M MACD histogram data on the weekly charts, but you can see the RSI is weakening. Last night in China, there was a lot going on, including a drop of nearly 1% in the Chinese yuan as China joins the currency wars that are taking place around the world in various emerging markets in particular. There's also quite a bit of nerve nervousness over housing market in China, as well as credit quality. Here on this daily chart, you can see the rollover. Now, Van Eck has published this for some time, this PEK, and yet for a long period of time prior to the last few months, it had been linked through a derivative with Credit Suisse creating a premium, but that has vanished as China has allowed overseas firms to market directly into China and go direct to, in this case, the CSI 300. Now, the daily chart has the same annotations on it, but you can see that we had a little pop here in early February, and that has fallen falling apart and we're going down. This also, of course, affects popular domestic ETFs trading in the U.S. like FXI, GXC, and so forth. We have no position in this ETF, only to add to the fact that you can't have the second largest economy in the world in difficult conditions, especially as far as their markets are concerned, and still see other developed countries doing well in isolation. If you'd like to see more of our detailed charts with actionable alerts, sign up and become a premium member at the ETF Digest. Thank you for watching, and we have no position in PEK.